what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and i appreciate you being here today i am back with another destiny 2 video and today i'm going to showcase all of the new season 3 faction loot including catalysts for a certain few weapons and how these are obtained but before we get into that guys if you'd like to support the channel hit that like button truly does that and it really helps me out also, if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, content like nowhere else, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so faction rallies was thought to be coming today, but in fact it didn't. Bungie have now confirmed we will be hearing more about faction rallies during the weekly update this Thursday, so stay tuned for that. Today though, as many may know, we received an update for Destiny 2. This update incorporated the faction rally changes for when it arrives, also adding information into the game about said faction rallies. So let's get into the new added info. There will be ranks for faction rallies now. Much like what we see with Crucible, Vanguard and Iron Banner, at each rank rewards are unlocked. But before we get into those rewards, let's check out the new armor ornaments. Now as far as I know, there are no new faction rally armors to be added into the game or to be obtained by us. Armors will be the exact same, but there will be new ornaments for us to chase. On screen now we can see the Hunters, Titans and Warlocks, new Monarchy, Dead Orbit and Future Warcore ornaments. So how are these obtained? Well they partly have answers. Each piece is locked behind a certain rank before you can obtain it, but it's more than just a rank to actually get these ornaments. To unlock these, there will be other challenges you will have to do as well, but ranks for each piece are as follows. Class item ornaments are tied with rank 5, leg armor ornaments are tied in with rank 10, gauntlet armor ornaments are tied in with rank 15, chest armor ornaments are tied in with rank 25, and helmet ornaments are tied in with rank 35. So there will be a lot of grinding to be done to get these ornaments, if that's your goal, it will be mine, I know that for damn sure. So these are the armor ornaments and the ranks they are tied with. But what else do these factions offer? Well there's actually more, quite a lot more. Starting with new monarchy, reaching rank 10 you will receive a new submachine gun called the Bearden Hander, I think that's how it's pronounced. Reaching a rank 20 you will receive this new legendary ship called the tri rank Tux. Reaching a rank 30, you will receive a pulse rifle called the John 7 Rifle. And hitting a rank 50 guys, you will be rewarded the exotic titan chest ornament, blazing half, and the sweet business catalyst, absolutely epic. Moving on to future walkout, and reaching a rank 10, you will receive the Magnum Shepherd pulse rifle. Reaching a rank 20, you will receive the G008 Zip Hopper Sparrow. Reaching a rank 30, you will receive the Pit Launcher Rocket Launcher. And a rank 50 guys, you will receive the Hunter Exotic Helmet Ornament, the Predestination, and the Sunshot Catalyst. Okay, so moving on to Dead Orbit. Reaching a rank 10, you will receive this new Anella Sniper Rifle. At rank 20, you will receive the Rotari Fire 3 Ship. At rank 30, you will be rewarded the Agamid Hand Cannon. And at rank 50 guys you will be rewarded the Gaze Beyond Worlds Warlock Exotic Helmet Ornament and the Graviton Lance Catalyst. Well guys, I'm guessing I know which most will be picking. If you can, like people believe, can only choose one faction, many will go to Dead Orbit for that Catalyst for the Graviton Lance, there's no doubt about it. But there is more guys, but it might be bad news from here on out. There are emotes tied with every faction. For Future Warcraft, it's called the Sign of the Future. For New Monarchy, it's called the Hail the Monarch. And for Dead Orbit, it's called a Rack Greeting. But there was no sign of these emotes tied with any rank. So where are they? Well, people, I think I have the answer. These will be sold with Eververse. Much like the Iron Lord's emote, which came with Iron Banner, you can only purchase that from Eververse. I have a feeling the exact same thing is going to happen with these new emotes. As we see these new data mine packages, and you can see them on screen now. These are packages that Eververse will sell, and I'm guessing the contents will be that emote. But hey guys, it is what it is. I've already made a video about this discussing my frustration. I won't do it again until it becomes even more of a joke. I mean, I hope I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. But on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. These are all the new Faction Rally Season 3 Rank Rewards. Tell me down below within that comment section what faction you will be choosing. If you can, like many believe, only pick one faction across all three characters. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, it truly helps me out. Thanks as always for stopping by. Subscribe if you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong.
we stand But you and I will carry on We never get it right